it's Andrea from Masterpiece Fitness Training in Bandon and I am in my awesome gym. Today's obstacle course race training workout I think is a pretty good one. The first one starts out with some grip strength stuff, which of course is always good for training for an obstacle race. And I'm here with these god awful lights because it's early and it's dark still. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna get to it. What we're gonna do is 10 repetitions, so put enough weight on your machines or whatever you're going to use so that 10 takes you a little bit to fatigue. I have pairs, and what I did was I did my two pairs and three times, then took a little break, went to the next pair, took a little break, went to the next pair. So I have three pairs. This first pair starts with what I call a fisherman, and um, what you're going to do is hold on to your rope and it's kind of like a pass. I actually kind of throw it and pass it. And I'm doing a nice squat form, I'm pushing in a way, I'm pushing my hips back. So I'm still thinking on my, about my posterior chain. Nice core work, nice pulling strength. Work on that grip. Make this heavy enough that you get um, some work out of it by 10 reps. You'll even start to feel your legs a little bit. Okay, I'm not counting, I'm just gonna show you. So 10 of those. Then you gotta put this back into its normal position. Probably add some weight. Well, you'll need to add some weight to make it work for you. Again, I like to practice gripping this so I don't pinch the pinkies. That's what I tell people in a way that you're actually trying to make it stay in your hands without sliding. And of course, depending on your weight, it will slide. But I'm trying my very best to not let it. I'm squatting and pulling squatting and pulling. Again, I am thinking posterior chain because I'm driving through those heels and lifting up my spine, pushing those shoulders back. Really watch that you don't allow that move through the shoulders. Do you see that through the back? I'm really trying to keep that back straight before I pull. All right, so that's your first pair. And then I'm just gonna turn us around this way to my next pair. And uh, this one I call a jammer. And I just use my 45 pound bar with the, a plate on it. And so again, I'm gonna have a weight on here that I feel like I can do um, 10 reps with a little bit of you know, fatigue. So I'm ending up with, like I'm feeling like I'm working. So this move, I, don't, I actually don't even have the end of my bar in anything. It doesn't bother me. If you don't have one of those um, things that you put your bar into, that's okay. Sometimes I'll put a sandbag on there for some people. Um, but um, anyway, mine is just the bar. Oh, hardest part's getting it there. Okay, and then I grab this in a way that one arm doesn't dominate. And then push my body kind of far out from it, up on the toes. And then I'm coming down so the elbows reach the knees. So don't stand too close to this thing um, so that it bumps into you too much. So you stand far enough away that when you squat, your elbows are to the knees. This is my fourth round of doing this, so I'm a little fatigued. So I'm just going to show you, um, which you know is totally doable. You guys do as many rounds as you find necessary to give yourself a good workout. I just was planning on doing three rounds of everything through the heels and drive through up. And the thing that I, because my hands are like this, it looks like my shoulders are kind of not pulling back, but they are. My back is straight, so what you want to try to avoid is rounding through there too much. Can you see that? You're keeping that back pretty straight and driving through the hips and up. All right, and then the second one to this pair, so I go jammer, and then I just did um, a kettlebell swing. So again, you're gonna grab a kettlebell that gives you work, right? And just make sure when you do your swings that you're not dropping the crown of your head towards the ground and you're really remembering the purpose for a kettlebell swing is to work on that power in the rear end. So it's one of them, I guess, anyway, huh? So that get that power in your rear and it's a nice strong abs, okay? Um, so kettlebell swing is your second one. 
So isn't that cool so far? So you got some grip strength with the first one with the cables, and this one with some pushing strength, lots of core strength, especially if you have uh, some weight on that bar, and, um, and some uh, pushing with the legs. And Okay, and then the last one that I have, I'm just gonna move us over here to the cable. And um, I just have a chest press with the cables. And remember your good form with your um, cables. Your arms are at, your elbows are at a 90 degree angle. Then not here, okay? You're gonna miss it if you're there. Elbows are out, push, pull it out. Then you get some pec work. If you're dropping in here, you're, you're missing the pec work. You're missing a lot of it anyway. All right, so pushing through here. Give yourself the range that you're comfortable with. It doesn't have to come all the way back, but if that's what um, you can handle and you want to work on that, just watch your own body. Just be safe. But a chest press with the cables. And then um, the last one, going out of the camera for just a second. The last one is your sled push. So you'll push your sled. Um, what I do sometimes when I don't really feel like using this, well, I always feel like using this sled, but sometimes I just want to change it up and I'll get on the bike just to use my legs in a different way. And it also um, can be great work for my heart, right? Okay, well, that's it. So those are your three pairs, and I hope you enjoy them. Um, work them through any way you like. I liked doing the two three times and then moving on to the next two, but you can also do it like a vertical load, so you do all of them all the way down and then do that um, time it differently all right thanks so much for joining me enjoy your races go out there and do your best and train well train right all right thanks this is andrea and masterpiece fitness training and beyond